Well, I have a decoy, brand new out of the box, right here. And the default, the factory paint looks great. It definitely would do the trick for uh, a whitetail, but I plan on doing some, some decoy hunts this year, and I want this to look a little bit better than it does. So, we just went to Dollar General, bought a couple of uh, cheap uh, paint brushes. I got some old paints that my daughter had uh, for like some various projects, and I grabbed a couple of colors that I thought I could use. And we're gonna touch this up and hopefully have this looking a lot better in the next, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. So that's what we're gonna start doing right now. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to match this brown because they went a little aggressive with this with this white patch on the the underside of his throat there. So so that brown's obviously too dark, but we're gonna throw a little white in there. But we I bet we can get there. Mix it up nice and good. Paint this. This can be kind of splotchy white because that will look good. Kind of what they look like in real life with a double throat patch. Okay. Here, go here. Now we're just gonna match over the other side. He looks good, facing straight at us. It's like a, it's like a black tail throat patch. It's pretty cool. I'll make this one a little less uh, noticeable, but we still want to see it. Want him to be a double throw patch. <laughs> okay, so now we start touching up the face. I want to make the I'll take the antlers off. Okay, let's see. I want this to be nice and dark brown, dark spot in the middle. Let's start with this. Let's start with some burnt orange. I want some burnt orange in there. Oh, let me shake it up. Then we'll put some brown in there. We've somehow accidentally made the exact color we just made. <laughs> That's a little different. That's actually very close to what I was looking for. All right, we're gonna we're gonna paint his uh, forehead. This will be the base for his forehead. Oh, that's a perfect, perfect shade. What I was looking for. Exactly what I was looking for. That dark brown reddish color. Okay. Looks great. Oh yeah. Slightly bring this down right here. Top of his nose is going to eventually be really dark. Oh, this is looking good. All this right here is going to be a base layer. So 
I'm gonna add a layer on top of this. We wanna get the right colors though, right color scheme. Doing a good job though. Get some of that in the ears too. Tie it all together. Looking pretty good. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Start working on the uh, dark browns that we're getting blacks going up here and then test burr. Let's do a brown. Where's that brown at? There's some brown. I'm done with that. I'll just go ahead and make this more brown. Should use this brush or not? Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna look good. Looking good. black that's all right we can fix that right it's not a big deal this is where i really need to black here in the middle i got a dark spot all the way right there that forehead gland creamy color. It's nice and creamy. Give him the mane that he definitely deserves. He's a special, special buck. It's a happy deer. Very, very happy deer.
See if I need the ears white. Because uh, deer's ears are white. <laughs> That's the main reason. Good buddy. He looks mean. Looks real mean. Dude, he looks really good from like this distance, <laughs> like five yards. This should work. Just need to make it really, really light color. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Ain't bad base. Okay. What do you think I should name this guy? Well, here we are about an hour later, and I'm very happy with the result. Uh, all we did was just kind of covered up some, uh, some of the big white that I had under, under his throat, made it a little darker, gave it a mane, gave it a darker face, a little more uh, detail as far as different coloration on the face, and uh, really that's it. Changed the color up of the uh, antlers we live I hunt a lot in the plain states. The antlers are real brightly colored. So I, I went ahead and painted uh, the antlers uh, pretty much a solid color like they would be out here. I'm happy with it, super happy with it. I'm excited to get out in the field and put it to the test uh, in the very, very near future. So 